Alrighty, turn 24, December 30th, 1941. Let's see what trouble we find. Ah, auto flip the base in the Philippines. Unloading more troops and supply at Kagayan. Interesting. Bomb in the airfield, all right. Oh, we're attacking this time, all right. All we damage is it. We put a little damage on it. Maybe it'll go home. I doubt it, but you never know. Unloading more troops and supplies. All right, daytime. Look at all those subs. Ported hit. Don't really believe it. Ah. Interesting. First airfield strike of the day, uh, Clark. 24 Lilies coming in. Heavy cloud, we lost one and got one hit. Not very productive. Here comes a flight of Sonya's. No losses, and we got five hits. Wow, putting the Lilies to shame. Trying to wipe out this base unit here. All right, got a squad, a, got a combat, non-combat, and a gun we destroyed this, this, com, this strike. All right, two non-combat and a gun. Can't be much left of that unit. Airstrike on Changsha. Eight hits. What's the weather? Light cloud. Okay. <coughs> Airstrike on Nanning. Handful of Sonyas. 24 hits in the moderate rain. Nice. Lily striking at Changsha. About a dozen of them. Three hits in the light clouds. Man, my Lily's just aren't doing it. Another strike at Clark with Ida's. A score of them for nine hits. Troops in the rough terrain there. Wow. Another high powerful sweep. Ah, some of that's at long range cap. Okay. And they 
here we go. Strike on Port Arthur. We've been waiting for that. Where did that come from? My guess is Chung King. Got one damage and he hit my AMA, ate my ACM there. Good, good damage here on these units. Bad weather there. Some Betty's coming in like on Clark Air, Air, Air Strips here, airfield. Score them, get five hits under severe storms. Weather has turned to Clark. 32 Nels following. Yep. Trying to bomb these troops here. I'm getting no ground. Hoping we'd cause some disruption fatigue, maybe. Score Sonya's hitting Kukong. 37 air airfield hits. 15 Ida's coming in. 14 more hits. 30 Sally's hidden Changsha. And the Thunderstorms with five hits. All right. So you can't have many airstrikes left here. A few more airfield hits. A bunch of recon coming through now. All right, that's the PM phase. Don't think we have any surface combat. No! Uh, really? I right, got one damage. Another damage. Oh, a hit, yes! Another damage. Oh, fuel hit. If he's leaking fuel badly, how can we not track him? Loading more supplies. All the troops are, are, are on shore. Should have a couple attacks here. All right, here we go. We got a regiment of tanks leading some Marines and some Naval Guard units against a bunch of Filipino beat up troops. Let's see what happens here. Okay, come on. The Naval Guards are taking the brunt. There we go, that regiment's down there. Yep, yep. Come on, we should take it this turn with, that, uh, with those tanks. Two to one on Banzai. Alrighty. Alrighty. We finally took Kagayan. Turn 13 cat wounded. 1700 allied wounds wounded. Bunch of destroyed. Alright, go. Cool. Those troops that just fled are pretty much worthless. Hey, that was our only combat this, this turn. Got to expand some bases. Alrighty, well, that's the turn. It's going to process through the production and moving the supplies and so forth around. Then we'll take a, a few moments break. I will do some saves, check a little bit of information, then I'll be back and we'll go over the turn.
Other than, well, they didn't. They, they sunk a ship at Port Arthur, which doesn't. I mean, I don't like to lose ships, but it's only an a ACM. It's the only ship that was in port. Um, they got a lucky torpedo hit at Wake. So, and, oh, here comes my troops. Ah, that's right, a bunch of base forces coming in. Most of these will not stay in their location for long. We'll build up some force, and then and then we'll get them out mm -hmm. out of there. The marshals, in my opinion, are are not not holdable, and they're not really worth it. There's nothing valuable there, and and if I lose those, they don't really give nothing up. But all right, well, turns over. Let me go in and get some saves, and I'll be back in in a, in, in a few moments. Alrighty, we're back. With the turn uh, after action report here, it looks like we went up 65 points this turn. The Allies dropped six. The Allies lost five planes to ops. We lost nine total, mostly to ops. They're up to 1,019 Army loss points. I'm up to 34. They're still at 128 lost ships. We're at 31. Okay, we lost nine aircraft. What did they lose? They lost two buffaloes, a PBY-5, a Lodestar, and WH-3. All right, we lost one Lily the Flak, and the rest were all opt losses. So it says we lost nine. How many pilots does that turn into? Two dead pilots. Okay, that is a that is a good... Usually nine would be should be three or four, but so when it's less than that, we will always be happy with only only two dead. All right, next aircraft, 15 days. Ship availability, let's see what's coming in. One day, we'll get two AKs, a tanker, a subchaser, and two oilers. That's good there. I don't think anything new has popped up on this list. Nope, the repulse is still not showing up yet. All right, three days to a, a base unit. A day after that, we get the rest of the 84th Naval Guard. And then we get a couple, we get a brigade and a regiment. And eight days after that, and three days after that, we get a bunch of AAs, some some Marine Coys. And that's about nothing. And a couple of Naval Guards. Okay. All right. Production-wise, let's see what we're making here. Not got it. Nope. There we go. All right. 12, 15, 16 engines, three zeros, two Oscars, two Sally's, and one everything else. What devices did we produce? 441 support. Wow. Oh, yeah. All those base forces we just made, huh? Probably a bunch of engineers, too. Naval, 128 naval support, some uh, army troops, a bunch of. Aviation support, some Marines, a bunch of engineers, some, some, some baby AA, some, some artillery. Yep. All right. Con consistent with the, pretty much all the new units we just arrived. Then, of course, down here into engines, a few different guns and mines and so forth. All righty. Let's go ahead and pull up Combat Reporter. And see what it has for us. You can see I cleaned up my combat reporter a little bit. Got rid of everything before the 21st. Just so my display is a, li a little cleaner. At sea, we had a sub-attack. Which hit an AK of ours, which was which was empty. Coming in and trying to pick up those troops. And in return, the PB, their patrol boat, escorting it. Got five, dim five hits on the Argonaut. One of which was an actual direct hit. And then before that, we had some ASW, which they claim a hit there as well. So hopefully, that'll be enough to to send an Argonaut home, and we can get have a you know couple days with no subs there, and we can load the last of those troops up and get them out of there. On the ground, we attacked at at uh, at Kagayan, and we finally took the base due to the arrival of some Marines and some tanks. Now we can kind of flesh out and try to clean clean up M M Mindanao. Amphibious, the only thing they're going on there was just the landing of the rest of the troops at Kagayan and supplies. Airstrikes, not just one-sided today. 
We had an Allied airstrike at the port at Port Ar Ar Arthur with some LB-30s out of Chongqing. They came in at 10,000 feet. Um, four bombs each, so 24 500 pounders, one of which found found a ship. It looks like at least one hit got some troops. So we got a few wounded troops and the ACM that was damaged uh, sunk in port. I will probably not be replacing it. Just because there's no real reason to. I don't really care if the mines there go away. It's not worth wasting ships. At Mulmin, we had a bunch of enemy fighter sweeps. Some P-38s are on the board. I'm assuming that is probably the AVG. Unless a new unit came in and you know, with P-38s, which could have. But my I, my guess is he swapped those out for the, a, the AVG. A bunch of buffaloes. You can see he has 29 buffaloes long-range capping. And 16 and the buffaloes were sweeping at 20,000. Once again, buffaloes capping and P-38s sweeping. And buffalo capping with a few buffaloes coming in on the on on a sweep a little bit a little bit lower. All right. Chiang Mei he attacked from Lashio with some Wellingtons. They did no damage whatsoever. Trying to get uh, the airfield slash airplanes. And everything else was me bombing the the Allies. Pounded on this piece of let's see the pounded, pounded on these guys here the people that the troops that are retreating from from Momin got some good hits 207 casualties no, no kills but a bunch of disables we also beat on the 108th second base force the piece of the base force out of Victoria Point um, we what one squad one non combat and we got yeah one combat three non combat two guns were destroyed this round there can't be much left of that squad I'm not squad, but that 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 uh, combat unit. He probably wants it to die so he can re rebuild that the other piece of the unit more, expand it back out. And I will I will help him with that. So Signet, we're picking up uh, signals. A lot of radio traffic at Pearl Harbor, Pegu, Ma Madrid, Batavia, Rangoon, and eighty nine thirty nine. Up, okay, up there again. All right, and in ops, convoy. Think okay, we're still transporting garrison and Manchuria. And hopefully they didn't actually go anywhere. And the tank regiment at Manila upgraded their upgraded their their uh, their tanks. All right, troop wise. I need, I need to get some ASW down to truck. Let me make a note for that. He has a lot of subs off the coast of truck, and I don't want them there. So I'm going to have to chase them off. I'll send some of my converted uh, E-Clash e uh, ships down there. and They have the Type 2 depth charges, which is the best uh, Japan gets. So they should be able to scare them off. Some Marines, uh, sp spotting enemy ship ships. Most of those are all subs. Allied ships, that's a lie. Allied ships, that's a lie. These are all uh, subs. Repaired some PBs at Tokyo. Those are all going to be uh, uh, conversions, so that's nice. We'll get those out into the field. Pilots, you know, there's one of our debtors right there on a Sally that crashed. Maintenance, more Mavis in into repairs. Mavis are always in being being repaired. We capture Kigayan and auto flip uh, uh, Tablas. They're one one of the islands in the Philippines. Let's see, us us us. Bridge main to airfield five. Dunedin to port three. Us us. Forest Lislav to airfield six. All right. I'm not worried about the Russian bases at all. That's not till 45 they activate. I mean, at that point, it's just icing on the cake. They just plow right through because with all their tanks and artillery, you just can't stop them. 
but by then the game's sh game should be most mostly over. Damage a bunch of aircraft. Damage. I don't like seeing planes lost on my carriers. Those are usually highly highly trained pilots, and I don't want to have a chance of losing them. And then all of our new units arriving. So, Artillery, some Marines, piece of a Naval Guard, Hong Kong Detachment, Base Force, Base Force, Base Force, Base Force, Base Force, a Airfield Koi, and Independent Guards Regiment at Bangkok. Okay, cool. I can use them. We'll, we'll, we'll send them up into Burma. Hey, right, that's everything for uh, Combat Reporter. Let's go ahead and take a quick look around the Pacific. As usual, we'll start up in Burma. That we're still there. We with we handle the uh, sweeps here without any trouble. Yeah, I need to start uh, reconning Rangoon. Looks like there's a bunch of fight a fighter space there. Let's come down. How close are we? No, we're still a couple days away from from uh, Tavoy. Come down into Mal oh, that unit's still there. All right, all the mines at Georgetown were swept last turn, so we're good there. Let's see. We're still gathering our forces together. It's just slow going on these trails and such in Malaya. At least in, in, in the in, interior. Sumatra, nothing going on. Java, nothing going on. Borneo, not much going on here. We finally got to Pon Pontianic. We will take that base next turn, I believe. That should be, a, what, a full regiment? Yep. Come on over into the Philippines. It's kind of a stalemate here. He has a ton of troops at Clark, which I don't really care about. I'm just bombing the airfield to keep him from building forts and to consume consume any any bonus supply we can we, we can damage. We're slowly building up, up uh, Manila. Because why, why not? We can't really use it yet, but, but we will build it up anyways. We're pop, we loading troops off these islands here. Next stop will probably be Porto Prin Princesa. And then we'll start coming into these. We spotted Mini KP spotted. Nope. Okay, good. We took K Kagayan, which is good. It's a nice airfield. We already we okay. It was means we that we'll probably leave that base because there's no one there. It'll just auto flip eventually. I'm thinking we just head right for Malay Malay Belay. What's all in there? Six units and f I think five of them retreated out of Kagayan last turn and they're all all beat up. So that might be the plan there. We still got a bunch of troops at at. At, at Monado, we can't really move because there was a ton, a ton of subs here. It looks like they're pulled off. So it might be time to move those out of here and, and continue capturing bases in the DEI. North coast of New Guinea is pretty much all done. This guy's taking his good old time to get down to this dirt, uh, the dot base. I think he moved one hex that turn. Sometimes the fast transports, I love them, but sometimes they just don't seem to want to work right. Yeah, see, he's moving these guys back up here. Should be fine. What's my fort level? Yeah. All right. Everything looks good down here. Up to the Gilberts. Is KP spotted? Nope, but you can see we spotted six enemy subs. I wonder if he's mined truck. I might want to take a pot shot and run a uh, minesweeper in there. Coming up, Mariana's are good. Let's take a look at my picket ships. Moderate rain, clear sky, overcast, partial cloudy, clear. Let's check this guy, endurance. 8,000 still, plenty of gas. Cargo, cargo, cargoes. Yep. 
Alrighty, everything looks good here. Let's check Port Arthur. No damage. I might move a unit. I have any, yeah. I might move some fighters there from uh, from uh, from uh, from a uh, Harbin. Got a bunch of fighters here just training. Move them over here. All right, Wen Chao is looking good. That division just showed up, so we will attack their next turn. We will throw all our aircraft into into supporting it. Chang shows up to still 13 damage. Ku Kong's at 27. Nanning Pai has none. Oh, nope, two. And Chung King has shown 72 fighters. Eight bombers. Where'd all the bombers go? Maybe to, La to Lashio. Okay. Yep. They went to La to Lashio. That or somewhere else that I'm not checking. The only bases I'm worried about him really bombing are going to be ones in Japan, and he has to be from Changsha. Let's see, that's only Airfield 1. Airfield 1. Was, was, was anyone even home there? Yeah. Airfield 3, maybe. At one day, Airfield 1. Airfield 3, that's too far, though. 3. Yeah, he has no aircraft here still. Yanin, nope. Yeah. There's not a whole lot for him to strike from. Most of these bases are not really designed to support any kind of airfields. And the ones that are... The only thing he could operate out of those are like L LB thirties and hit anything outside of China. Once I knew, once I take Wen Chao and can neutralize Changsha, the air threat to Japan will be pretty much eliminated. As long as I don't let him, you know, get away with building up other somewhere else. But let's see, we should be taking Ken Ken Cien next is it next turn up oh, maybe 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 two turns we'll take that little base doesn't require any garrison so that's good nothing else down here for him to have when chow will fall he will probably retreat westward right into this hex which on which is rough unfortunately but then I can just I can just chase him and just beat on him the whole way. Once I push him out of Wen Chao, those units will, will be will be uh, will be trashed, and it won't matter as as much. I can chase him with like one division or even something smaller, that because they'll still have the attack power to, to keep on pushing them out. All right, that's the turn here. If you enjoyed watching the turn along with me, please go ahead and, and click on click on the like button. If you're following along the entire campaign and you're anxious to see where it goes and how it plays out, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and follow us along for the duration. Until the next turn, you guys have yourself a great day and we'll see you later.